the main character throws up off panel. <laughs> it would probably be like Bubbles, like, I'm going to puke! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, so fucked up. Yeah, but like I said, that would be a straightforward, the Martians come down to Earth, because it'd be like, it's the city of Townsville, it gets attacked by monsters all the time and supervillains, so it makes sense, like, these Martians come down, like, out of no, like, they just come out of the blue, and they're like, we come in peace, not... <laughs> <laughs> well, what I think would be fun is if, like, they try to make a big deal out of their arrival, but the city of Townsville is just like, eh, it happens every day here, they just continue with their daily lives. And the Martians are like, what? What? What's going on here? Fear us! Fear us! And it's not to, like they uh, the mar uh, the uh, the spaceship lands in the middle of the park, and it actually like it's when it's going down, it bangs into Mojo's height lava hideout. <laughs> <laughs> He's like in the middle of like a sauna or something. Curses! <laughs> <laughs> and that's his only scene. Yeah, that's or, he should be involved in um, helping them get rid of the of the of the Martian Powerpuff Girls. Like he should team up with them briefly. Yeah. Like, they get to get, like, the Martian Powerpuff Girls, the Martian girls are more powerful than the Powerpuff Girls, so they have to team up with, like, a majority of the other villains. Because they're exactly. Because they're destroying the town, and they're like, that's our job! Exactly, they're just, like, jealous and shit. All the monsters from Monster Isle just show up and are just like, this is our town! <laughs> so, once like, again, it would be the Martians with the, the girls and the, the villains behind them. Exactly, exactly. It'd, be, it'd just be amazing. Yeah. yeah, it kind of writes itself, in my opinion. Yeah. Why aren't we doing... Why aren't we writing these in actual IDW? Right. <laughs> we should, like... IDW should pay us to write these, like, for, like, legit. Or like, do I... my check right now? Shit, I'd do this for free. <laughs> well, you, know, you gotta always gotta have a little compensation. Um. <laughs> hey, compensation enough. I get to write Mar uh, uh, big brainy uh, Martians fighting super-powered girls. Fair enough, fair enough. I guess that is compensation enough. Yeah. Um, but yeah, with Mar Mars Attacks Powerpuff Girls, like, I think it would be funny, like, the Mar when the Martians, like, they see the girls, they're like, what the... <laughs> like, they just pause and just, like, come here. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they have any hands? I don't know. It's cr Like, no, this would be funny. Like, it, it would be a reverse kind of thing, like how you said, every time the Martians would show up, a, the, one of the cartoon characters would barf. It would be the opposite around when they see the girls. <laughs> well, like, I thought we should save that for, for the Fosters one. Oh, yeah, that would be the more, like, yeah, that would be better for Fosters. Like, one just throws up in his helmet. <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, choking in it. Oh, I'm gross. And he's, like, uh -huh. like he's on the ground, and they're, while they're talk they're having a conversation, there's just one in the background just <laughs> gasping for air. <laughs> It's like pink and shit because they're aliens. <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to get when he gets his helmet off. He's like, uh, "Oh god, I can't breathe!" And he's choking. <laughs> they have to resuscitate him, and it's like fucking disgusting. <laughs> oh. oh man, but yeah, that one would definitely work as well. All right. Um. So we got Mars Attacks Powerpuff Girls. My, my turn. Uh, my next pick is Mars Attacks Dexter's Lab. Oh my god, yes. My idea for Mars Attacks Dexter's Lab would be that the Martians are picking up, like, they're, they've got some kind of, like, uh, moon bait, like, little moon outposts on the dark side of the moon, and they're picking up all these weird readings. They've de they finally detected uh, Dexter's laboratory, and they're like, dude, we gotta go get it. Like, there is some cool shit down there. We gotta go get it. So, group of Martians go down there, and they lay, they start laying siege to... Dexter's lab, like, they find their way, they sneak in, it, it would be like, um, they're pretending to be, like, uh, they, they have these bad costumes, and they dress up and pretend to be, like, Mormons. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they, they pretend to be Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah, they're just, like, they knock on the door, just like, we have seen him! <laughs> and, and, uh, and they're, just like, and yeah. Dexter's mom just lets them in, and they just sneak, they just use, like, gas on them, like, sleeping gas on them, and just run up to Dexter's lab to break in. Exactly, yeah. And what would be cool is if, like, the rest of the issue is just them fighting with Dexter in the lab, just, yeah. like, with the different shit in there. Yeah, like, Dexter's using the giant robots, the, all these different inventions, and he has Dee Dee with him. Yeah, exactly, Dee Dee is just, like, 
grabbing anything she can find, just blowing them away. Like, she's the most badass one in there. Yeah, or she's just, she's being like Johnny, where she's just like, ooh, what does this button do? And she presses a button on the Martian suit, and the head just explodes. <laughs> um, yes, that would just be great. That would be amazing. Yeah. Um, I think, like, we get to the point where the Martians also try to attack Mandark, and they have to team up. They're trying to attack who? Uh, Mandark, Dexter's nemesis. Oh, right, right, yeah, okay. I was like, who? I was, it's been so long since I've seen these shows. Yeah, I remember him. The, the, the really nerdy-looking kid? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I remember him. Now, yeah, and they have to team up, too. That'd be great. Yeah. Um, so that would be definitely, like, an idea I had like that. Like, it would be so cool to see, like, Dexter use all these weird, like, he has contingency plans to fight Martians. Yeah, exactly. But they look totally different than how he expected. He's just like, given the evolution of Mars, your design makes no sense. And they're just kind of, like, upset by that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And they're just like, go fuck yourself, but in, like, the, the PG version. Yeah, they're like, gak, 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 translation, go blank yourself. <laughs> um, but yeah, they would be like, he has no idea, like, because he thought the Martians would be a totally more... I mean, they are advanced, but he totally was thinking of something different. Exactly, it's just like, he had, like, a more, like, um, basic, like, they're just basic, like, um... Like, just something that makes more sense given evolution, because the Martians, obviously not evolutionarily sound. <laughs> yeah. And I think it would be also kind of funny, like, he has, like, you're looking, he, when you, you see, like, this big computer screen, like, he tells his computer to switch on, you know, Alien Contingency Plan 557, or something like that, and you see, like, all these different lists of how to fight these different aliens, and it has little images like, Contingency Plan for Xenomorph, Contingency Plan for Predator. Exactly. Just throw in all these references, and there's, oh, one, one's like contingency plan for Doctor, Time Lords. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be the perfect, like, contingency plan for Time Lord, uh, contingency plan for Kryptonian. <laughs> Klingons. Yeah, just these little, like, little tiny hints, and then it gets to Marsh, you'd be like, crap, I gotta think of something else now. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> uh, Oh god, that would be perfect. That would be amazing. I, I didn't even think of Dexter's lab. Oh my god, that'd be perfect. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's um, for Dexter's lab. Uh, what about you? What's your next I got, one? I got, I got another one in me um, that I, I wanted to say at the beginning, but I forgot. Now, I don't know if, car if, car if this is still technically Cartoon Network, so you may have to correct me on this. Um, Mars Attacks Space Ghost. Yeah, I think that's still under... Um, that's still under... I, I don't think that's under... That's under Hanna-Barbera, technically. So, but to, but if, like, if, if Cartoon Network wanted to do, like, a new Space Ghost show, would they be able to do that, or...? No, I think DC w would be able to. Oh, okay, so, uh, never mind, then. I guess that wouldn't really work. Yeah, although that would have been fun, though. Oh, that would have been great. It's just, yeah. like, just, like, the dryness of Space Ghost versus, like, just, like, the absolute out-there stuff of the margins. And again, it's a, it's a campy show, so it would work great. Um... But, huh, other Cartoon Network shows. I mean, I could see Mars, Attack, Mars Attacks Ben 10, but um, at the same time, I don't know if those styles would really match up perfectly. Well, well like, um, I think it could work. Like, uh, Ben 10 does have its, like, comedy, and I think it would be fun to see the, uh, like, the Martians when they come down. It's like, I have fought so many different aliens. These guys just don't look like, he's just laughing at them. Yeah, yeah, that, that could work. Um, and one of them accidentally uh, touches his watch, and he can turn into them. Yeah, like they want the Omnitrix. Yeah, oh, that's what it's called. It's, again, it's been so long. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it could work. Um, as long as they don't fucking like, if they if they ever filmed it, don't do it in live action. Yeah, like um, that's how I would do it. Like, it, actually, I would put it in like uh, grandpa um. Ben Ten, Ben's grandfather and his cousin are out like some rural town in Kansas, and they're and in the meantime the Martians have been abducting people and experimenting on them. Exactly. With uh, it's like it's such a, it's such a, such a cliche alien situation that like I don't really believe at first. It's like oh it's just something from tabloid. Then they have to look into it. Yeah, and then the Martians when they discover oh wait M Omnitrix dude this could so help us. Um, exactly. Just like we must have it. Yeah. And then they it would also be kind of interesting is like the Martians unleash their experiments and they're all different aliens from the Omnitrix merged with humans. Oh, yeah, that'd be interesting. Yeah, like they've been experimenting on alien DNA with humans and they think, oh, yeah, we get the Omnitrix, we can totally 
you know, make an army of these things. <laughs> yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. Um, so that would be, it. like, it's some rural town, it would just be great, like, the like it would be this so stereotypical town in Kansas or Oklahoma, and, like, <laughs> yeah, like, the opening scene, you'd see, like, the, mar like, it's just th some opening scene of, uh, of a farmer just looking out the sun, and, uh, you know, sun going down, then out of nowhere, this UFO comes on, beams him up, and he's like, what the? Exactly, yeah. It, it would just be like, again, it'd be, like, it'd be so cliche that they don't even, they, like, um, ben, ben and his grandpa and Gwen would just be like, yeah, it can't be true, because it's, it's so typical, and the Martians are offended. Yeah, like, they're like, are we that predictable? <laughs> and they're just like, look at yourselves! And they just start crying. <laughs> it's like, they, they just, you no, know, they're just kind of looking at themselves in bewilderment and be like, no, to, and then when, when the survivors get back to Mars, they're like, "Okay, we need to rethink our strategy, guys." Yeah, we need to rethink our we need to rethink our look. I mean, I mean, it's just like, did you see those aliens that were in that watch? We are we are so out of date. Yeah, and they're just like, it's kind of suited us for a while. They're just like, no, we need to think of like black leather, black leather, and that's how the comic book ends. <laughs> and they're all just like in, in like the X Men movie costumes. Yeah, they're like, oh my god, they're like in this black, like black X Force type look at the like that's the last panel you see. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. So, um, yeah. What else you got, dude? Uh, I have Mars attacks Ed and Eddie. Oh, perf. Yeah. Um, I would set it up because the last episode they did was where they thought they were in an alien attack. I'd actually set this like a few months later. Where Ed Ed sees uh, he's out you know Ed is out you know wandering around he, after he reads a lot of com well he's watching TV right he looks outside his window and he sees a Martian UFO land and a Martian team just down there collecting stuff and leaving they see him they're like ship get back in the ship get back in the ship <laughs> and uh, Ed tells you know he tells Double D and Eddie like guys guys I saw Martians last night sure you did Ed. And no yeah. one, like, it would be that little boy blue, kind of little uh, little boy who cried wolf kind of scenario where Ed's trying to tell everyone that the Martians are here, and no, no one believes him. Exactly, yeah. Until it's too late when they're, when they're just about to start the invasion. Yeah, like, uh, <laughs> they're, the Martians are just out, you know, kidnapping people, you know, they're secretly out kidnapping, you know, people from the Park and Flush trailer park. Uh, the Kankers are like they're angry because they've they've apparently like one of the sisters have gone missing, <laughs> and <clears throat> the uh, the Eds the Kankers are working together even though they're like what is because they, they, they don't want to admit it's Martians even though Ed keeps saying look at the sky, <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's so obvious that they are Martians but um like everyone's just ignoring it because. You know of what happened with Ed. Like there's one point where one of the Martians is just like walking in, in plain daylight. They're just like it's just it's just a deformed person, Ed. Don't be rude. Yeah, that would be Double D's reaction. Yeah, exactly. It's just like he's just, it's just a, a, a deformed little guy. Don't be rude, Ed. Yeah, he has to. It's like well, the like and, and Eddie's like, well, how do you explain the suit? It's some kind of breathing apparatus. So you, they have breathing problems. <laughs> well, what about the helmet? Maybe he's just into Star Trek. Well, <laughs> oh god! Like this would just be so much fun. Like how the Ed, like how the kids from the cul-de-sac would try to deal with the Martians. They exactly. Got, they would try to think of all these different. Like they come up with all these like absurd weapons. Exactly. Just like they like got like giant like like they got baseball bats and like giant bears and shit. Yeah. Like uh, like when they're trying to escape, the Martians are trying to escape after they get beaten by Ed, Ed and Eddie. They run in and see plank on like. Planks standing right, in, like standing up, on um, in front of the self destruct button. They're like no, and then it just flip. Plank just flips over and hits the self destruct button. <laughs> what I thought could be funny is if Plank like they see Plank and they think he's like a like an ancient deity from their home world. <laughs> Plank. <laughs> That's it. Works so much better. Exactly. Yeah. And just like they worship him. Yeah. And they just t when they leave, they take him. They take him and Johnny back with them. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, because you wouldn't have to do anything else in that show's continuity, so you can just like have them leave. Yeah, you can do anything with that continuity and just leave as is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um. 
Yeah, so that's something that is something that would be fun, but like it would be funny like the uh, the Eds get a hold of one of the Martians' lasers and <laughs> try 